Palpating and treating subscapularis. We probably treat subscapularis more than any other shoulder structure because it's an important stabilizer. It can restrict shoulder abduction, but also if shoulder abduction is full, subscap can still be a problem and an issue. It's a stabilizer. It also has a neurovascular sleeve and a bunch of different nerves that run inside of it. So it's really important to clean out subscapularis for shoulder and for neck issues. So sub subscapularis is in the armpit. Come over here, Melissa. So this is Latin teres major. When you grab this chunk of muscle, my thumb sinks in right here. Anything that's on this side of my thumb is Latin teres major. Anything inside that way is subscap on the floor. Anything on the roof is, is pec major and pec minor here. You have the neurovascular sleeve against my thumb this way. And then when you get down in here, a sub, a serratus anterior is down this way. You have, be mindful when you come in here, there are a lot of different nerves. So you have the neurovascular sleeve, which is probably this thick, is right over here. You have the intercostal brachial nerve that runs between one of the, the ribs here, I believe it's the second rib, and comes out parallel to the neurovascular sleeve. It's right there. So here's the neurovascular sleeve. Here's intercostal brachial nerve running right underneath it. Then you also have rib nerves that go this way. So if you feel something popping against your finger like this, going into one of the ribs, you might feel like a guitar string pulled really tight. That could be an intercostal nerve. Then you also have the long thoracic nerve and thorac thoracodorsal. Thoracodorsal nerves running this way. That could also be stuck. Long thoracic goes to serratus anterior. Thoracodorsal runs deeper to the lats. So this, there's a lot of different stuff here. So you want to be really mindful when you sink in what you're feeling. So to palpate this, you're going to sink your thumb in. You want to use, if this is his left shoulder, I'm using my left hand. So the CA is kind of going to be out of the way towards the head of the table. And I'm basically right in here because when I take my depth, I want to go straight in towards his sternum, Adam's apple. So I'm gonna go in this way. I'm going straight in parallel to the floor and then I'm taking depth down and I'm feeling for decreased compressibility. He's got some nerve entrapments in the way, but I should be able to treat this. And ideally your biggest spot is gonna be all the way in that way towards his Adam apple. That's the most common spot that they want to get adhesion. It's all the way far in towards the medial edge of the scapula. So, and if you're not feeling much with compressive palpation, you want to, you can just do diagnostic passes. You do want to use lotion, especially for men because they have hair. You're going to have the CA hold the arm at about 100 degrees of shoulder abduction with the arm up like this, the hand up. I'm going to lift myself up a little bit. I'm taking my elbows in my side right now. I'm taking my thumb. I apologize. I said straight in. I'm going a little bit at this angle. So it's like an ice cream cone. I want to see which way I can get in that feels as easy as possible and as soft as possible. If I go in at an angle that feels like I'm pulling skin, I want to take my thumb out and try a different angle. So at this angle here, I feel I can get my deepest. If I'm this way, I'm feeling skin from this side. This way, I'm too much on the neurovascular sleeve. So right here, I'm getting as far in as I can. And I'm staying, keeping my thumb parallel with the ground. Really important so you don't pull skin. I go in as far as I can till I feel tension at the bottom of a trampoline against my thumb. I'm using my body weight too. That's as far in as I can go. I back out slightly. Then I'm going to take these two fingers and I'm going to drop them straight down. I'm gonna move my body a little bit. The CA may have to move to accommodate. Straight down. It's a common mistake that when people take their depth, they go in and they try to set on the muscle and they'll come out a little bit. You wanna make sure that you're going straight down. So in towards this Adam's apple, into the ice cream cone, back out slightly, take my thumb, drop straight down. Then from here, I take my tension set straight across horizontally across his body and now i'm leaning with my body good now the ca come on over here melissa the ca first is going to externally rotate the hand down towards the ground 
I'm feeling slide. I'm making sure I'm leaning. He's going to drop the elbow down towards the ground. Good. And now he's going to abduct, bring the elbow towards the ear. Pause, Robert. Now I'm feeling for when the tissue starts going like this. I'm going to end going up towards his left hip. So right now I'm feeling this happen. So I'm going to change my vector from this way to this way. Go ahead, Robert. Keep going. Thank you. Slide so I don't get in your way. And I'm leaning the whole way. Pause. If I feel like I'm losing it, I'll move my body. Go ahead, Robert. Keep going. I'm leaning into my thumb towards his left hip. This is where I end up for subscap. Good. So it takes a little bit of finesse getting in so you don't pull skin, sinking straight down and in. Then you're taking your tension straight across. As the CA externally rotates, drops the elbow, and then starts abducting, the subscap fibers are going like this. So you're going to have to follow it and really feel into your thumb. This thumb needs to be really soft. This is my depth. My tension's coming from leaning with my hip. If you're able to keep your elbow against your side, this is going to help. If not, your tricep needs to be able to be pushing forward so that you maintain peak tension on the subscap. We'll do one more time. I'm going to get lotion again. Okay. Find that spot in the ice cream cone. Straight in. Come out a little bit. Then I go straight down with my two fingers. And then I go straight across. Go ahead, Robert. Externally rotate. Drop the elbow a little bit. Good. And then start bringing... Pause. Notice I'm moving my body, my wheels, as Robert's moving the arm. Go ahead. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And right now, my tension's going towards his the right hip. I'm maintaining P-tension because I'm still feeling some effective treatment. And then I stop. Since we're here, neurovascular sleeve, come on here. It's similar. I'm just getting my Come on this way, Melissa. I'm just going to be mindful where my hand is. My tension is going to start that way, and I'm kind of ending about right there. Subscap would be towards his hip. NVS, nerve vascular sleeve, is ending at about this angle. So I would palpate NVS, get right underneath it, and I'm using my superior hand. I'm just seeing if it bows superiorly. And up in there, he's not bowing that much. So I'm going to take my thumb. I'm going to get on the side of it, and then I'm going to rotate my hand so that my thumb is kind of underneath and next to it. My fingers are grabbing his shoulder. Then from here, go ahead and chip a little bit that way, but don't grab the arm there. Yeah, okay. Now I'm taking my depth down this way to get into that space, bowing the nerve in the direction it doesn't want to go. Then I have the tension clock to see which way pulls tightest. It's basically straight across, but I'm going down a little bit too towards the ground. And then, go ahead, Robert. He's going to externally rotate, drop the elbow towards the ground a little bit, and then very slowly he's going to move. I'm keeping P tension. If I feel like I'm losing it, pause. I reset my body. Get P tension back. Go ahead, Robert. And I'm staying right where that nerve vascular sleeve is, where it's not sliding. And I'm ending the tension vector going in this direction here. I'm not going all the way towards the anterior hip. But that's how you treat the NBS. And if you feel any of the other nerves, let's say you feel a long thoracic nerve, it could be awkward. But you're going to find where it's not bowing. His are pretty clean. So I would awkwardly get, hold right here, take my thumb, let's say it's not bowing that way, I'm going to get on this side of the long thoracic nerve, make sure I'm not pulling skin, then I'm going to try to take tension going that way, go ahead Robert, same thing, I'm going like this with my, these fingers, good. And I'm following the nerve. Right now, my tension vector is going straight down. 
inferiorly towards his feet. So there's a bunch of stuff to be mindful for, for subscap, NBS, intercostal nerves, long thoracic nerve, thoracodorsal nerve, intercostal brachial nerve. You just have to get really good at palpating and putting tension on the nerve in the way it doesn't want to go. Or if it's just subscap, just making sure you're following it from going across to the right shoulder, going towards the right hip. So we'll practice this at Accelerator. Have fun palpating treating subscap and all the fun nerves that get stuck in the armpit.